Speedy Bill Smith. Bill Smith grew up in Lincoln with a love for cars and motorcycles and parlayed his passion into Speedway Motors, the world's largest maker, distributor, and retailer of auto products for the racing and street rod world. It started with a used Model T. When I was 14, I looked like I was 10. Uh, so I tried to disguise myself so I'd look a little older. So I bought a railroader's hat, that striped thing that you put on, you know, and thinking maybe nobody would see me, uh, see my face. Then uh, I'd just drive it around the back roads around my house at 44th and Old Street, which was all dirt roads in those days, not houses. After graduating from Nebraska Wesleyan in 1952, he opted to follow his heart and opened one of the first speed shops in the Midwest. 2232 O Street, it was 20 by 20 square foot. Uh, that's about the same size as my office is today. Uh, pretty small operation, one man band you might say. He and his wife Joyce had some lean years in the beginning and Bill supplemented his income by racing a love he stayed with until 1980. I actually mo made more money racing than I did in my business. And today people have to have a large business to take their passion of racing uh, and do that. So it's flip-flop considerably. The racing winnings helped finance growth of the business and also helped determine Bill's and his family's success in building Speedway Motors into a worldwide leader, meeting the needs of automotive and auto memorabilia enthusiasts. Uh, I love to win a game at the game I'm playing, so that's why I made a good racer in uh, my ventures in car racing is because second was the first loser. He soon realized he would need to expand his customer base to meet the needs of hot rodders and racers throughout the country. I always used purple as a color for the company and for my race cars because as a kid I saw old King Cole uh, in a purple uh, fancy coat and I figured if he was the king, purple would be the color for me. His racing experiences also helped grow the business as fellow competitors knew of his business and asked for help. A guy would uh, lose a ring gear and pinion out of his quick change rear end. And he'd say, Bill, when you get back home Monday, uh, put one of those on a bus for me. And any evening after 5.30, you could see me at both those bus stations with my pickup truck loaded with boxes to send out. Bill feels his proudest accomplishment is creating a unique business in his hometown and growing it with his family. Then of course my wife who's been my constant business companion for the last 58 years uh, is, a, is, a, is the best asset that anybody could ever have and then my four sons. While his life's passion has been to cater to the hobbies of others, Bill is also a collector. He enjoys founded the Smith Collection Museum in 1992. It contains more than 8,000 tin toy racers, more than 1,000 pedal cars, 400 antique and exotic engines, and over 75 race and special interest cars with extensive history. It's Bill's dream come true.